Smithy. Oh. But after so long, what's it like to sit up here in front of the cameras? It's terrifying. It is. It's I know you know how we feel. I think you do a through. marvellous job. I wouldn't have your job for anything in the world. <laughs> now, you've worked on Blue Peter for 26 years, which is a long time to stay in a programme. What made you stay so long? I've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. And what I've really enjoyed most of all is making friends with all those viewers. Mm. It's a great feeling, as you know, mm. to, to, to think you're friends with all the people watching. And I think we have been. I think we are. Yes, we are. We and are. also, every single show is completely different, of course. <laughs> it certainly <Manic>. is. <laughs> What's your favourite moment, Billy, that you can pick out? Oh, I've had lots of favourite moments, as you might imagine. I think probably some of the favourite moments have been the results of all those appeals. Yes. And knowing that we've helped so many people here at home and abroad. I mean, that has been, I think, a terrific achieve achievement on behalf uh, of the viewers and something that's made all of us feel very happy. And funnily enough, seeing that film with um, Princess Anne and Jet, mm. uh, I think another favourite moment was a film we made in 1971 when Princess Anne was very young and she went to Kenya on behalf mm. of Save the Children mm. and we made Blue Peter Royal Safari. And that was the very first film Princess Anne had ever made and it was very exciting, it was great fun working with her and it really was a magic moment. What are you going to be doing after this? Well, those who know you will not sit down for two seconds. No. You lots of it. no, no, I won't sit down for two seconds. I've been trained not to do that on Blue Peter. Um, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write about behind the scenes on Blue Peter because lots of people seem to want to know about that, and that will take a little bit of a time. Mm. And I've just been to America and back, and I've come back to a huge post bag, lots and lots of lots of letters and. Um, people suggesting that I do various things, so I'm going to consider those very carefully. And I would like to say, as I have this opportunity, just to thank everybody who's written to me, because I've had so many cards and letters, and I'm very, very grateful and very touched, and I will try and reply to all of them eventually. So, <laughs> so in fact, you're going to spend you, the next six years writing What are some of the things that you're going to be doing? Tell us now. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm going to... You know what you say about Blue Peter? It's always unpredictable. Well, I'm going to surprise everybody. <laughs> you have true. to wait and see. Oh, right. Has the programme changed a lot? since when you first started? I think that the programme has changed in that um, viewers now are much more aware of the world about them. I mean, mm. now, you know, there's news round in the old days. There wasn't such a programme as news round, and they, they know all about the outside world. Um, but I think they haven't changed in the sort of ingredients that they want. Uh, they want fast, exciting adventures, mm. and they want stories, and they want uh, animal items. I think the mixture is the same, um, but I think the great thing is to be unpredictable. You know, sometimes they write and mm. say, we enjoy Blue Peter because we never know what's going to happen <laughs> next, and I think that's what keeps them on the toes. What about the worst moment ever? Yeah, oh, yeah. Worst that's moment. a good one. Oh, dear, <laughs> worst moment ever. Um, it's awful throwing these things well, at you. Well, I think... I think probably um, one of the worst moments was when we've had um, guests on the programme who perhaps didn't know when to finish, um, <laughs> like, the, like the, the, the lady who'd, um, who'd made the biggest Cornish pasty in the world, and she was a dear old, like a little old granny, and, uh, and we did this and we said thank you very much and we tasted the pasty, and, uh, and then she, she wouldn't go, she wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> So throughout the rest of the programme, there was this lovely Cornish accent going on in the background. Oh, late, you know. We won't ask you who's been your favourite presenter because that would be normal. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm very fond of the three of you. That's nice. Thank thank you. You. Now, Billy has begun a tradition where each departing presenter has been given a photograph album. So we have got one for you. Here it is. It says I Billy see. on the front, and it goes right back to the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not the very yeah, the beginning. When oh, it Christopher does. Trace and Leela Williams were the presenters yeah. in those days. Yeah. And, of course, at that time, you were working in radio. Yes, making all the sound effects. Yes, there's, oh. actually, there's a picture of you in, in the office. Looking very glamorous. You haven't changed. Honestly, Billy, oh, you haven't changed at all. Yes. She's yes. still got the same earrings, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> there's you when you were working in radio as, um, what as were you, a sound effects person? Oh, yes, I was opening and shutting doors and being a dead body and singing. So, <laughs> ringing a bell. Yes, and then there you are. Now, who's this character here? Who's oh, this? now, that was a, that was a, a, a dear friend of the programme, Joey. We, he died, I'm afraid. <laughs> We've had two parrots and both of them died. We're much better with dogs and cats. Yes, and I think that's a good idea, but it's not very nice having a dog on his shoulder. Um, <laughs> this, this is the um, expedition, the, uh, the Royal Safari oh, 1971. Yes. yes, it is. There we are at treetops. In Kenya, and there yes. you are at the end. Yes. That looks very nice. And loads more pictures, including all the past presenters. There's Simon Groom, Sarah Green, oh. Tina Heath's Happy in there. Happy memories. There's Tina Heath. And then oh. there's another picture of 
us three when I first joined the programme oh. with Janet Ellis and Peter Duncan. And there we all are. Look, that's when we received an award oh, at yes. the Television and Radio Industries Club. Well, that last was year. fun, wasn't it? That yeah. was marvelous, yes. wasn't it? Yes, always and nice And then to get one awards. of your final assignments on the programme was when you were one of the judges on the Picture of Health competition. There you are. Yes, our and there's cartoons. Bob Godfrey. We look very happy there, don't we? Oh, it was a great night. Yes. And there's the chairman of the BBC, Duke Hussey, and also Eddie the Eagle Edwards, mm. and us at the top. And then a lovely picture to finish with. Look at that. Oh. You and the two girls. Well, you were not there. Sat in the garden. That's quite so nice. Isn't that lovely? Oh. That's a lovely picture. Oh, that's though. lovely. Uh, also, Biddy, there's lots of blank pages in here so that you can fill it with photographs from your moments yet to come, oh. of which I'm sure they'll be Well, that's lovely. very kind. Lovely. I really appreciate that, because as you say, I've always loved the ones that we've given to the presenters, and it's jolly nice to have one of my own. Love it, Thank it. you very it's much nice indeed. Um, Biddy, we've got some flowers for you here <laughs> as well. Oh, oh look, you're getting... There you are. You're so beautiful. kind. You're really very, very kind. I shall, I shall never forget this. We're also going to give you our highest award, and this is something you invented, so I think you're probably very deserving of it. Not you get a gold blue Peter Not bag. a gold yeah. bag. <laughs> oh, well, this makes me very <laughs> humble. When I think of all the people who've, who've, who've had these gold badges, are you sure I deserve it? Yeah, I'm absolutely absolutely you positive you deserve it. Oh, well, thank you very much but indeed. But probably something that's more important than a gold blue Peter badge is the famous double-sided sticky tape. <laughs> I thought no, that you deserved this. So, but it, will you keep this forever? Oh, well, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. can stick it on next to yes. your badge and make... No, to the best of your ability. We've also got some old yoghurt cartons and <laughs> top roll holders yeah. and everything. <laughs> really, on behalf of all the millions of viewers, thank you for all the enjoyment that you've given to everybody over the years. Thank you very much. Well, and also, Biddy, on behalf of the team, because you've taught us everything that we know. Well, I couldn't have done it without the team and I couldn't have done it without the production team, so I've been very, very lucky. Well, from the bottom of our hearts, thanks a lot. Thank yeah. you, We're going to miss you. Have a great time. I shall miss Come you. back and see us. I will. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Well, we'll be back in September with our expedition to the west coast of America. Don't forget our Russia programmes, which are starting next Monday. And if you'd like to see Biddy again, then she's going to be a guest on Wogan, which is on, on Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and that's on BBC One. She'll be on absolutely everything from now on. <laughs> the lot. Oh. <laughs> Have a lovely summer. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye. 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 Bye.